ladies and gentlemen, today we're conducting the most scientific, the most important research you will ever see in your life. About eight months ago, I had a Chinese robot named Lee try to build me a retrieval team and beat extreme mode. But Lee unfortunately came up short. So after numerous hours of coding and renovations to our robot, we have upgraded to ChatGPT. Here's your name, actually. I am assistant. We have upgraded to Assistant. Assistant is gonna help me construct a Retro Bowl team. We have an empty roster loaded with CC. And we have 65 first round picks. Assistant is gonna help me construct what hopefully is a championship level team. And we shall see how this team performs, all right? But let me introduce you guys to Assistant first. This new, innovative, renovated, top of the line, new technology is going to take over 2023. It can write essay papers, it can write code for you. Let me ask you a question, all right? Tell me about Hefe's Eye. I'm sorry, but I don't have any information about Hefe's Eye. Could you provide more? No, see, so you gotta be more specific, you know what I mean? Tell me about the YouTuber named Hefe's Eye. That'll do it. There you go. I'm sorry, but I don't have any information about a YouTuber named Hefe's Eye. It's possible that this person is relatively new or obscure, or they simply have not gained much visibility on the platform. <laughs> We're switching robots. Set the team up with some free agents here. Ooh, look at Bortles right here. Five, oh, 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 Byron. Let's go. We got Gaziano, too. Two five-star players here. Okay, you can't go wrong. There's two QBs, Bortles and Paradis. Pick my retro QB. Bortles or Paradis and why? I would choose Bortles because he has the most experience in the NFL. Fast. And has had the most success of the two. His career passer rating is 84.7. Interesting. So they went at the NFL route, but I'm taking it, all right? Byron Bortles on the squad. All right, now we're in the draft here. There's 50 total players in this draft pick me a number between 1 and 50 37 this ai is not serious 37 daldo boogie daldo oh my god one and a half star d lineman come on man Give me 20 retrobo last names oh snap okay let's see if there's any of these players in the draft here i don't see any of these names give me 20 more Robinson Scott. oh my god gray no way did it just pick me the worst kicker in the fifth round oh day gray are you serious are we trying to win what are we doing right now oh day gray this is the team all right this roster we need a tight end here the two tight ends we have here are eaton who has a lot of strength and cologne who has more stamina so we're gonna ask it do you prefer a tight end with more strength or stamina and why i prefer a tight end with more strength strength helps a tight end be more effective in blocking and it helps to create more separation when running routes fast stamina is important but having more strength can make a big difference in the game i like this jameez eaton get on the team there you go strength he's looking a little bit better here but we need some defensive players do you like defense alignment linebackers or defensive backs more let's let's narrow this down do you like assistant i like defense alignment more because they are usually the biggest and strongest players on the field this guy just loves big guys okay there's only two D linemen in this draft. It's Parker and Barch. We definitely want Parker here. Come on, dog. Don't don't bump. Do you like Parker or Barch more? And why I would choose Parker because he has the most experience in the NFL. Fast. We're picking up D lineman Lonnie Parker. He's a two and a half star, so I shouldn't really get that excited. But All right, now let's go offensive side of the ball. There's three running backs on the first page here. Let's narrow this down. Do you like bald head or head with hair? I don't think that grammatically made any sense, but let's see what it says. I prefer a head with hair. Okay, Elliot. He's got hair. I, I think, yeah, the other two are bald. Nolan Elliott. He sucks, but he's on the squad. There you go, Nolan. All right, what are we lacking? We need wide receiver, linebacker, and DB. I see two DBs on this first page here. Kamarda and Elijah Madison. Would you ever name a kid Elijah and why? Because that is a personal decision, and I would not be able to answer it for someone else. However, I think Elijah is a unique and interesting name and could be a good choice for a child. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What about Kareth? Would you name a kid Kareth? Again, this is a personal decision, and I don't want to answer it for anyone else. Okay. I think Kareth is a unique and interesting name. Nah, you're lying now. Come on, man. Ain't nobody naming the kid Kareth. Gareth. Come on now. Who's the better defensive back? Kamarda or Madison and why? I would choose Kamarda. Okay. Gareth, get on the team. I'm sorry for making fun of your name. But let's get out of the draft. All right, let's sell our 59 picks here. Let's get into free agency. All right, because we got a lot of fills to hold. Fills to hold. First off, we need a wide receiver. We have Eddie Zamort here or Quiddy Horn. Do you prefer an older wide receiver with experience or a younger wide receiver with potential? I would prefer an older wide receiver with experience because he can provide the team with consistent and reliable presence in the passing game. Experienced wide receiver will have a better understanding of the game, be able to read defenses better, and be able to make adjustments quickly. I am so good at reading. Young wide receiver may have potential, but they may be more prone to making mistakes and may not have the same level of knowledge or ability. Eddie Zamort, get on the team. Okay, okay, okay. The squad's looking a little better. We need some defensive guys. 
size, though. That defense is not winning no Regible. We need one of these boys. Let's go with the numbers again. Pick a number between 1 and 18. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? 13. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, well, we're picking up Horn, I guess, as well. Witty Horn, get on the team. There's a lot of offensive firepower, but we need defense, bro. Come on, dog. How many millions are you willing to pay for a kicker? I would not be willing to pay millions for a kicker. Kickers are important, but their impact on the game is relatively small compared to other positions. Fact. As such, I would not be willing to invest millions of dollars in a kicker. Alright, we're not buying a kicker. What about a cornerback? I'd be willing to pay a few million dollars for a cornerback. A few. Can we be more specific? 18 or 15? 18. Alright, he's willing to pay 18 million, which is perfect because that brings my boy Kent Prater onto the team. We literally just need a linebacker. A linebacker completes this team. We have Hewlett, but we also have Rice. This guy's name is Myquan Rice. You enjoy eating rice? Yes, I enjoy eating rice. Let's go! It's a versatile, nutritious food facts, but it's also a great linebacker. Myquan, get on the team, all right? There you go. Open AI Playground has built my full team. Pick a Retro Bowl quarter length. What we got? Five? That, that's not possible. Let's try this again. Pick a Retro Bowl quarter length. That, that's not possible either. One more time. Come on, you got this. You got... broke it come on 15 minutes this guy just won't stop going up i should be more specific should i play on one minute two minute or three minute quarters i would recommend playing on two minute quarters this provides enough time to make plays without the game dragging on for too long this guy's spinning all right now it's on the retro engine can the robot win a retro let's find out we started with a 24 to 3 win Keep moving oh 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 13 6 one possession game easy what is more important for a running back speed strength or stamina what should i upgrade for nolan elliott i would argue that speed is the most important attribute for a running back speed is essential i agree upgrade the speed he's so slow Oh. What about for my boy Buggy Dowdle though? What's more important? I would argue that strength is the most important for our defensive lineman. All right, let's 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 get his strength up. So after simming the entire regular season on Dynamic, we finish the year top of the division. 12 and 5, third place in the AFC. But let's see how this team does in the playoffs here. We play Denver. Sim game right here. Oh, it's in the snow. Come on, robot. Come on. Yes, 7 out. This will be hilarious if this robot won a retro ball. 14 7 heading into the fourth in the wild card game. Come on, y'all. Defense, defense. Yes. Okay, we hold to a field goal. The robot. The robot. 55 yard field goal. No. No way. Gray just missed that. No way. Defense, we need a stop. One stop. Yes, yeah, short of the first down. We're going for it on fourth. Here it is. Here's the game right here. Rice. Ah, oh, this is why we love rice, ladies and gentlemen. 14 to 10. We survive. Oh my god. What a sim there. Rice with the game winning pick. Let's keep it moving. Oh, we're against Buffalo. 12 and 5. This is going to be a tough game in the snow again. First quarter. 7-3. Second quarter. Oh my god. 17-10. Third quarter. 24 17. Please hold rice. Okay, okay, that's that's all right. We need a drive, Bortles. We need a drive. Income. No, this can't be the end. No, Parker. Come on, do it for the robot. Touchdown, Buffalo. Oh, they missed the extra point. 50 seconds. Can Bortles save the season right here? Passing play. Come on, we're at midfield. Airs it out. 30 to 24 against Buffalo, and the robot ends up making the divisional round. You know what? Not bad. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for another video. Ching chong bing bong. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.